croissant, cream cheese, other cheese, separate cheese, and that cheese. <laughs> a lot of cheese. And this is a new drink breakfast. And this is my new drink breakfast. <laughs> well, James is angry ranting about the availability of croissants in countries other than America. Very, very important. Yes. Okay. Every salad needs croutons, and just dry bread is not croutons. They have to be seasoned. Salt, herbs. Sorry, it's really, I look very pink today. I look very pink. Yeah, you're welcome. So we've come for a walk around the resort. Uh, we'll have some breakfast to see what we can find, and I think we're going to the adventure center. Hello. Hello. It's a bit bright this way. Um, and there's horses back this way as well that you can like ride at night time but I don't know if I can do that but I do want to see them um, and I think someone said jet skis or somewhere I don't know softboards and like surfy type stuff so let's go have a look look behind here beautiful sunshine now turn this way oh scary storm clouds coming <laughs> this is gonna be fun coming up to the stables lots of horses lots of very pretty spotty horses are we sure it's the stables? I think it's the stables. I don't know though. It's a bit hard to tell. Yeah, the horse spot. You're welcome. Violet in a horse form. <laughs> Accurate. Oh, Lie down. Horse. All the other horses are walking around. Oh, hidden below the belt. So nice though. Why you gotta play me like that? <laughs> His ears are so fluffy. For scale reference, it's a tiny horse. Eventually gonna get to Diamond Head to do like a hike thing, but we stopped off to get some Matsumoto shaped ice because it's a rainbow and apparently it's really really good. Um, well, it's famous, so it better be good. But right now we're gonna go to Radio Shack first, so James can try and get an SD card because we uh, I may have forgotten the one that goes in our Osmo. So. Something else? Lime. Lime. It's really good. And it's in this milk and more cheese. Nice! I'm so excited. It's really good. It's really good. Oh. Okay. So we have stopped in at 7 Eleven now um, because we were told that here's where you get the spam masugu. It's on here. <laughs> Spam and egg, teriyaki spam, spam katsu, and jumbo. So, spam toes, cold spam, musubi, musubi, and sandwiches, like all 7 Eleven. But look, they have like takeaway lunches and bentos and stuff. Unlike Australia, which has none of that. And their sushi doesn't look like it will kill you, unlike Australian 7 Eleven. Hi, Dad. Dibs, crunch, lots of different ones. Mochi ice cream, pumpkin cheesecake, milkshake. Ew. 
<laughs> you gotta try it. Do you wanna get laid at the 7 Eleven? Because here it's possible. Okay, this is a spam masubi from 7 Eleven. We, we ended up getting the cold ones because we assumed it would be a cold thing because Anahiri is usually cold. But the lady at 7 Eleven said you're supposed to eat them warm, and now I see that it says microwave for 46 7 basically. 47 seconds. Oh, I mean, this it, nigiri is supposed to be cold. Right? It's right. Weird. So, anyway, I'm gonna eat it cold yeah, and same. maybe we'll try a hot one later. I don't know. If it's good, we'll get it again. Yeah. Okay, recording. Okay, let's try it out. It looks like there's like slavery sauce on the spam and then nothing on the rice, but we'll see. with Funyuns. <laughs> Funyuns all the time. Please bring Funyuns to Australia, whoever makes these. Thank you. So we have come to Diamond Head Monument, which is a big cliffy type thing. And we are hiking up it to <laughs> Dude, Violet, this is gonna be such a cool photo. You look so classy. So we did not, well, Selena and I did not make it to the top, but James and Toby did, apparently. So I'll put their footage in here. We got to sit at the nice lookout because I can't climb that many stairs. Ooh. And it's unreasonable for people to think I can. <laughs> In conclusion, the fat old ladies at the top would disagree. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Biscuits or scones, same damn thing. It's not. It's really good though. Oh yeah. It's not a scone. <laughs> scone. So I got a lobster tail on the side, and then, but my main meal's not here yet, so I'm just gonna eat the lobster this tail. Is, this, is this is my side, side. and then um, mozzarella sticks. So let's try it. Ooh, starting with the mozzarella sticks. Yeah, I'm gonna start with the mozzarella sticks. This is literally a piece of cheese deep fried with some kind of sauce. It's really hot. Yeah. I don't like the sauce. Marinara sauce. It's really good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Pay attention to your own vlog. 
<laughs> These are your viewers. She's filming too. Your viewers. It's really good, but I don't like the marinara sauce. It tastes too much like the um, bread and corn sauce. Oh yeah? Mm -hmm. It's exactly the one that tastes like. First time eating a full lobster with dipping butter sauce. It's pretty good. It's pretty good? You want to try? Yeah. Um, so, for $8 lobster, how much does it cost? <laughs> And this is just a side. Yeah. Look at this rebel. Do not park. A lot of red lobster. Do not park uh, back up into parking stall. Such a rebel. You can't tell me what to do, parking stall sign. Take that. Get Finally, we came to Walmart and I can get late already. Look at all of these flavors that we don't have at home. I think we have the chocolate one, but not that one. And not apple cider. I'm not really gonna say anything. Oh, but this is story time with Violet and Selena. Okay, this is story time with Violet. You than me. <laughs> it doesn't count you wearing a hat. It totally counts. Why are you wearing a hat inside? It's obnoxious like wearing sunglasses inside. Because my hair is really bad under it from wearing the hat all day. <laughs> So, I thought we should tell you what happened when we went um, hiking. When I say hiking, it wasn't really so much hiking as it was like a slow meandering walk and then giving upping. The boys continued to hike. We did, same thing. we did go through probably more interesting experiences That's because true. of it. Yeah, they just walked up a mountain. We had very interesting experiences. So firstly, while we were waiting at the lookout thing, it was all scenic, so we're taking photos and stuff, and this old guy comes up with two birds just in his hand, like these tiny little finches, and they were so cute, and he's just like holding them like this, we were seriously waiting for him to just crush them, because it looked like he was holding them pretty hot. It also, was creepy. How do you catch those birds? I mean, they're sure, they're friendly, but not like pick yeah. them up friendly. And it was the way he let them go. Yes. He was like posing for the photo. Yes, because he had his phone in his other hand and he was like filming with the birds in his hand and just like letting them off into the sunset. And it looked really disturbing. Did it you think he was gonna kill them? I thought he was. Like I just thought it was really like just that murdery creepiness yes. to it. Serial killer vibe. Yeah. There's seriously a serial killer vibe. So that in itself was bad. But so the lookout was like on the edge of a cliff with like these little um, metal bar things around it so you could like almost like a catwalk that you got to the edge of so there's two of them there and we're taking photos on one of them and then this guy was there for like maybe 20 minutes just taking sips out of his drink bottle. And he was doing push-ups in the yeah, bars like the working hell? out and stuff. Odd. Yeah, whereas people were like waiting behind him trying to take photos off the edge and he's just standing there doing push-ups. It was a bit rude. But he dropped his drink bottle cap off the edge of the cliff and then he turns around to us, we're the only other people there, and he's like, I'm gonna go after that. Call the police if I get hot. Like, what? Yeah, what? Kind of like a moment of shock. No, also we're tourists and our phones don't work here, so no. Um, and, then, and then he just like disappears and jumps off the side of the mountain and we hear him scrabbling around and then also I filmed him so in, in starting here the, the footage of him climbing back up <laughs> and hoping that it was in focus but like who does that? Especially when there's like signs everywhere that say don't go off the hike Because trail. of erosion? Yes. So you don't know how secure exactly. everything is? I was impressed that he managed to like literally pull his entire body yeah. out. Well that's what all the push-ups were for. Yeah. <laughs> like training for this. <laughs> training for this moment when yeah. I lost my cap down the cliff. Yeah, and you know, that cap was really important. It definitely didn't look like it came off like a two dollar drink bottle that you could repurchase. I'm like, who do you even call? You but, can't like, the police aren't gonna do anything. Yeah. Do you, uh. I don't even know where we really were. Yeah. I'm like, I'm somewhere in Diamond Head. I'm on a mountain. Can you please come and save a guy that climbed up the edge of it for a drink bottle count? I feel like the police would be like, no, I don't think we can. <laughs> Especially when there was signs specifically saying not to do it. <laughs> well, I hope you've enjoyed story time with Violet and Selena. We are so good at telling stories. We're going to have so many more stories to tell. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Really? <laughs> I can see what you're doing.
<laughs> just because she's doing it really slowly now. She's using a lens wipe to clean the TV because she didn't want to waste the moisture. <laughs> I'm not a shock. <laughs> if you like this video, then chances are you'll like my others too. Subscribe to my channel, then check out my blog at violetlabo.com. There's even a super cute puppy. <laughs>